Oh, hey there. I guess we're doing this today. Whoa! Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. If you're new around here on Yen, we pull from every corner of nerd culture to talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. Now you may be thinking, Zack, you don't seem like someone who would be super into politics. Well, thanks to the Democratic primaries airing tonight, I don't get to watch my new episode of CW's The Flash. So, I gotta do something. If you don't know anything about it, <laughs> the United States votes for its new president every four years. And, and last 2016, it was completely insane. Can you actually believe that everybody voted for one of these two people? Cause, Cause I still can't believe it, but it happened. Well, I've moped around a lot over the past four years, ignoring politics because it's just been a tragedy, but I'm done. I'm gonna start looking at politics like I see the Joker 2019 movie. It's a comedy now. That way, if America really is gonna continue failing as a first world country, I at least get to laugh at his expense. So we're gonna be ranking the 2020 presidential uh, nominees today. That's the video. Everybody clap. Number 15, Amy Klo... Amy Kloboot? She's last known on this list because I've never heard of her and I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's something like Kobucha or something like that. Maybe you can find her in the grocery store. Number 14, Pete Buttigieg. His last name has the word butts in it. And I don't know about you, but I don't want a president that could have the nickname President Butts. Number 13, Elizabeth Warren. Considering the fact that the entirety of Twitter and Tumblr has decided to compare Elizabeth Warren to Harry Potter characters, I figured she had to go pretty low on the list because I do not want to give power in the country to Harry Potter stands. We'd really just be dooming everybody at that point. Number 12, Mike Bloomberg. Did you know that Mike Bloomberg raised the soda tax in New York? Well, I don't drink too much soda these days, but if he becomes president, Gamers all across the country will be penalized for buying their gamer fuel. And that's just downright discriminatory. And I'll have none of that on my watch. Number 11. Answer. Oh, go. what's this? A daily double? I think I'm just gonna go all in. All Let's right. go. What do we got, Here's Alex? Oh, oh, I know this one. I know this one. It's who is Hillary Clinton? Number 10, Donald Trump, our current president, said bad things about Parasite, my favorite movie of 2019, just because it came from South Korea. And, and that's that's definitely the only reason he is this low on this list. Absolutely the only reason. Number nine, Bernie Sanders. Considering the fact that I was taking a nap the other day and I heard a knock at my door thinking that I was getting a package for my roommates, and it was a Bernie supporter asking me to vote for Bernie Sanders. They, they woke me up from my nap. I will have none of that. You will not wake me up and expect me to vote for you. Good day, sir. Number eight, Larry the Cable Guy. Mike Bloomberg might be able to get it done, but Larry the Cable Guy has been able to get her done for years now. Number seven, Andrew Yang. Yang said that he would pay my rent for me every month. Has anybody else said that? I don't think so. Number seven, Vermin Supreme. A man of many talents, Vermin Supreme promises to give everybody free ponies. If that's not a policy to stand behind, I don't know what is. Number five, the coronavirus. Currently standing as the most viral candidate on the list, I, I think it's quite possible that the coronavirus could take out the presidency this year. We might not be able to stop him though, and that could end up being an issue. Number four, Joe Biden. I, I almost forgot about Joe Biden. But then again, I think Joe Biden almost forgot about Joe Biden. Just the other day, he was recording his Minecraft Let's Play. Here's a clip. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'm playing RuneScape now. Hey, why is, get this get this pig out of here, dirty Republican? I tell you, it's been a while since I've played RuneScape. It's been it's been quite a while, but last time I played it, I was a force to be reckoned with. I said no malarkey. No malarkey in my country, and they listen to me. They listen to me. I had a friend, a long time, good time friend that was my friend, and he introduced me to, 
to RuneScape and he said, all you gotta do to start the game is build a house. And I said, well, that's kind of easy. Just go up to some trees and start hitting it. And hitting it and punching it and punching it and punching it and punching it. What am I, what am I doing? What's messing with me? Where am I at? Why is a sheep following me? I like sheeps. I think we gotta make a pick. A pickaxe. Let's make a pickaxe. We got one. Alright, let's go. To explore the depths of the unknown. It's kinda like back in back when I was a when I was a wee child, a kid, a small toddler baby boy. And we, we got the Louisiana Purchase from the Mexicans. I was talking to a cousin of mine the other day and he said last time he played RuneScape he just dug straight down. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Guys, I found, we found Diamond. We found Diamond. This is, this is the happiest, the happiest day of my life. I never thought it would happen. But here we are. It's dark. I can't see. What's going on? Where am, where am I? Oh no! Help! Help me! I don't know what's going on! <laughs> <laughs> Number three, the clone of Emperor Palpatine. Specifically the one in Rise of Skywalker. Did you know it's a clone? That's right, that makes the movie better. There's no one more capable of running the country then the clone of Emperor Palpatine, specifically the one in Rise of Skywalker, did you know that's the one that makes the movie better? As a matter of fact, he is, in fact, the Senate. I am the Senate. Number two, David Lynch Monkey. <laughs> the wonder was in my heart, but you wouldn't understand something like that. After being asked if he was a card-carrying member of the Communist Party, he did not answer that question. He completely denied it. So as long as the next president is not a part of the Communist Party, I feel like we got a winner here. Are you now, or have you ever been, a card-carrying member of the Communist Party? Let me tell you a story. But coming in at number one, the real reason I made this video, the best 2020 presidential nominee, it's me. That's right. I will be running for the United States presidency this year. So I need your funds. If you want to contribute to my campaign fund, I am once again asking for you to donate to my Patreon. All those funds will be used well. They'll be taken care of. We're going to make sure that the United States does the right thing and issue a free Taco Bell party packs. To every American, uh, once a week, for free. That's my only promise. I can't go any further than that. But I can promise that much. I will say thank you so much for watching today's stupid video. That's all the time we have for today. Politics be stupid. And I still can't watch The Flash tonight. Which is... Ooh. I just hit the, the camera. I still can't watch The Flash tonight. It really makes me sad. So I wanted to clown... All of these people who think they can run our country better than I can. Because look at me. They really think they can do better than me. With that being said, I will say after you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Leave me down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite presidential can candidate is. I guess I, I, this year I will be voting for 